Well, today was about sending a message to Tony Abbott and the Liberal Party uh, and the National Party in Canberra that they're next, that the cuts to uh, the cuts to health, the cuts to education, um, the, the attacks on the minimum wage and workers' rights won't be tolerated. Come on, Tony, what are you dragging with you? I thought this was dead, buried and cremated. Does anybody believe here that the Abbott government will argue that the minimum wage is too low, that penalty rates are paid to fairly compensate employees working often long and unsociable shifts. No, they'll argue that they're barriers to productivity. They would have you believe that making you poorer will make this country richer. This is a national campaign by the MUA. There's a, um, there's a Senate inquiry into fuel security uh, underway at the moment. $2 an hour workers get rid of Australian ships and Australian wages and bring it in the cheapest possible way where there's no training, they don't know the waters, they're carting fuel up through the Great Barrier Reef and taking shortcuts all of the time, putting the reef at risk whereas Australian ships are trained and have never had a problem, never been, never been detained for any deficiencies and the highest trained in the world. Also under attack is the right of all Australians to access high quality, safe health care, regardless of where you live and how much you can afford to pay. This is our Medicare system, which was built on the premise that health care is a right, not a privilege. And don't think for one minute that because the government is not proceeding with this GP co-payment, that it's going to leave Medicare alone altogether. We will continue to make a stand to ensure every Queenslander receives high quality public health care where and when they need it. We will fight to maintain our penalty rates. Nurses and midwives stand here with you today, ready to fight for our rights. Cutting penalty rates, as just been said, is actually voodoo economics. There are 700,000 Queenslanders who depend on penalty rates to pay the bills to put food on the table. You knock off penalty rates, you take out $3.6 billion of spending out of the economy each year. Where is the sense in taking that sort of money out of the hands of workers who would spend it to keep this economy going around? Where is the economic sense in that? Workers, get on! Come on!